Powell River is a small coastal city nestled in the temperate rainforest of British Columbia. In 2010, the community celebrates 100 years of achievement and growth. By road, Powell River is 130 kilometers north of Vancouver, but long before there were roads, there was the water. The original town site began on the banks of the Powell River. The area was known as Tisquat, meaning the wide riverbed. Long before first contact, this area was home to the Tlaaman First Nation. Today we acknowledge the land as Tlaaman traditional territory. Chief Tom Timothy, on the left, was the last hereditary Tlaaman chief. Standing with him is John Smokey Johnson. Endless stands of coniferous trees surge down the coastal mountains to the sea in a wave of green. At the turn of the 20th century, logging companies couldn't resist this rich bounty. They moved in to harvest the timber, which seemed to never end. In 1908, lumbermen from Minnesota, Michael Scanlon and Dwight Brooks, joined with a Canadian timber entrepreneur, Jay O'Brien. They formed a logging company in Stillwater. Stillwater is located 19 kilometers south of the area that would become Powell River's fledgling town site. Once the Stillwater operation was going, Brooks and Scanlon were tempted a little further up the coast. The water resources have offered the perfect location for their next venture. Powell Lake is more than 50 kilometers long. It's surrounded by mountains and fed by snow melt. Brooks and Scanlon saw the river's 35 meter waterfall surging to the sea. It was ideal for generating hydroelectric power. Scanlon and Brooks then joined forces with Anson Brooks. In 1909, they formed the Powell River Company. Mill construction began in 1910. In April of 1912, the first roll of saleable newsprint came off the number one paper machine. Powell River wrote history that day as having the first pulp and paper mill on Canada's west coast. The mill grew, so did the need for workers. The community of town sites sprang from the slope that faced the mill and the straits to the west. To attract workers and their families, the Powell River Company planned the town site as a garden city. This concept gave special attention to tree boulevards, beautiful public buildings, and professionally designed craftsman style homes. The Powell River Company didn't stop there. It supported and encouraged community life. Sports, cultural, and social pursuits were considered essential for the health and happiness of the employees and their families. Facilities were built. Clubs and organizations were founded and sponsored. In the 100 years since Powell River began, it has continued to grow, prosper, and change. The century is filled with historic achievements, natural wonder, and remarkable people. These stories are preserved at the Powell River Historical Museum and Archives, and are waiting to be told. And Powell River's next 100 years is about to be written. <laughs>